All right, Caleb here. I want to walk you through the listing spreadsheet. This is the light version. This will always be free. I've also got a pro version, which costs a couple of bucks and helps you build more descriptive listings. The light version tries to simplify the process, make it as straightforward as possible. So I'm going to walk you through that here. Now, this is how I list my items into Amazon FBA. You could also modify this slightly to do merchant fulfilled listings. Now, my business is primarily books but I also sell some CDs and we'll also show you how this spreadsheet can be used to list anything with a UPC or a barcode. So this spreadsheet will work with anything, not just with books. So the way it works is you can set up your sources and you can put whatever uh, shortcut or abbreviation or whatever helps you recognize what source it was. This is gonna help you analyze your sources later if you pair this up with the tracking spreadsheet. In this case, it's gonna be Goodwill Lakewood uh, the date code, I use the month and the year, so July 16. You can put whatever you want. You could put specific dates if you'd like. And then I also put the cost per item. And this is very important. It's going to help me track my cost of goods sold as well as the current value of my inventory when I pair this up with the tracking spreadsheet. Um, it's also going to put it into the item SKU and build that custom SKU for me so that when I sell an item or when I'm going to reprice, I know exactly what I paid for these individual items. Now, the item number always starts with one. If you've already done 100 items from Goodwill Lakewood in the month of July, you could just simply put in 101 in this case, just to make sure you don't use any duplicate SKUs. After that, your setup work is done. You can simply just start scanning. Now over here, I've got a Tautronics USB um, laser or barcode scanner, and I love it. It simply plugs right into your computer, Mac or PC. It's just a plug and play, uh, no drivers to install. It's very simple. The other thing I like about it is it's hands-free. It'll just detect if something's in front and the laser will uh, automatically turn on, which means you don't have to waste other hands pushing buttons as you go. So let's walk through a few and just show you how the spreadsheet works. I've got a book here, Total Bike Maintenance Book. And again, it's gonna have an ISBN since it's a book. You can see the barcode on the back. We're simply gonna scan that with the barcode scanner. You can see it pop up with the ISBN. And as you can see, it'll build this custom SKU for us, which is exactly what we want. So I can see my source, the date, the item number, and the cost. Now, if this was a textbook, if it was selling like a textbook, we could put the textbook tag in front, just the letter Y, and it would put a TXTBK, which would just let, alert me that it's a textbook and I need to go and reprice this before August and or January. Now, this book isn't, so I'm going to leave that alone. ASIN is only needed if two different options show up for the book show on Amazon, so we'll show you an example of that. And right from here, we're just going to click on the Amazon link and it's gonna bring up this item. It's gonna search for this ISBN on Amazon. Now we can see only one item showed up, so we have no need to put an ASIN in place. Now I use a couple Chrome extensions. The first is DS Amazon Quick View, and what that does is it shows me the sales rank, the category, and the ASIN right down here. I can also hold my mouse over the title and see the sales rank chart right here just to make sure I'm picking the right item. Um, from there, I usually click over to the Use the New Items, and I also use the Keepa Chrome extension, K-E-E-P-A, and this will give us sales rank history, so how often this book is selling. That's the green line in this case, and it's selling very regularly. I can also see how Amazon's price over time, they've been historically right in the $21 to $22 range, as well as the lowest new price and the lowest used price. Now I'm gonna click on the Prime Offers. We're gonna go here. Amazon's the only listing. I have a very good copy, so I'm gonna come close to Amazon, assuming that somebody would prefer to buy this. Some, some buyers just prefer to buy used, and Prime is a very good differentiator. Uh, since my book is in very good condition, I'm probably going to price this at $17.50. Sometimes I might come in closer to the lowest new price. Sometimes I'll tuck up $19.99 and just get under Amazon a little bit, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about pricing in other videos. So from here, I'm going to put the sales rank. Now, you don't have to put this in, but I really like to track my data. It, it provides a lot of good insights to make sure I'm buying books intelligently and make sure that I'm buying books with a rank that is actually gonna mean something. So I like to track my rank. Now you could put 330,000 here, or you could just shorten that and do 330K, which stands for thousand. If this was three million, you could just put three M. And if it's less than a thousand or less than a hundred thousand, we just put the rank um, or less than a thousand. Let's say it's 900, we just put 900. In this case, again, it's gonna be 330K, the price 1750. The quantity is just one, and then the condition is very good, and again, it's going to build that custom description for me, and this description is based on what I pre-filled here on the back side of the spreadsheet. 
So you can see all the conditions, new, like new, very good, even the collectible descriptions. And you can then put whatever description you want. If you're focused on books, that's great. If you're focused on other items, you may use some different pre-filled descriptions. And whatever works best for you, go ahead and do that. If you don't like that for whatever reason, you can simply write over top of this description with a custom description. And it'll, it'll leave that description for you. I'm just going to let the spreadsheet do its thing, so I'm going to leave that alone as is. And that's all there is to it. You've already listed a book. Um, if for some reason you need to change your cost information, we'll do that. Let's show you another test. So let's walk through one more book and then show you a couple other items. Here's another bike maintenance book. Again, it's got a barcode on the back. So we're simply going to scan that barcode. It's going to pop up on our spreadsheet as well. We're going to go look for the link. Now I chose this one specifically because two different items showed up. So for whatever reason, the other, uh, the ISBN pulls up two different items. Now obviously we're looking for the first one. It's our road bike maintenance book. You can check the picture. We can see the rank is very good in books. It's 71,000. So we're going to select this. Now you can copy and paste the ASIN from here, or if you don't have that extension installed, let's show you where else you can find it. So once you click through to the Amazon page, you'll see up in the URL, amazon.com slash offer listing slash, and then a series of 10 numbers or, or sometimes letters. This is your ASIN. So if you simply double click, copy it, go back to your spreadsheet and then paste that. Now Amazon will know exactly which item is yours. If you simply uploaded it this way, Amazon would error out. It wouldn't accept it because there's two different items that match that uh, ISBN for whatever reason. Now that it's got an ASIN, it's clued into the exact right item. Now the sales rank in this case was 71K. From a pricing standpoint, it's selling very consistently. Amazon is not on the listing. Used is about $11. New is about 40. Click on Prime. There's actually only one Prime seller and they only have one copy. Again, this is from the Keepa extension. We can see that. That's wonderful to know. So I'm probably going to price this at $29.95, maybe $25. That's a nice even price point. And people that don't have Prime can actually get free Super Saver shipping at the $25 price point. So I really like the $25 price point. However, with how often this is selling, I'm going to come in at $29.99. Now my copy is in good condition. And again, you can use the drop down menu if you want, or you can simply type the letter G for good. It's going to build that custom description and we're off and running. Now let's say for the sake of argument that this was a hardcover book, let's say I paid $250, I can change the cost here and it will update the SKU and then it'll make sure my cost information is accurate. And I can also change the source the same way if I'd like. But I'm just going to leave it alone. Let's show you just a couple more items. Again, make sure you click in the ISBN fields. I've got a CD here I picked up from Goodwill. It's Ray Bolts. A little bit, uh, a little old school hair as you can see there, but the book is still selling or the uh, CD rather. So we're going to go ahead and scan the uh, UPC. Go click on our Amazon link. Make sure just one item shows up. Here we go. Yep. Audio CD used and new. We can see the rank. Now I don't do rank for anything other than books because I'm primarily tracking books. You can put that rank in as well, but it will skew your results slightly. So I only put rank for the main items that I'm selling. For me, that's books. I'm going to click on used and new. Again, it's going to pop up with the chart. We can see how often it's selling. Once it loads, again, very, very regularly, probably once a week or so. We go look at the items. We got a couple offers in the $8.60 range, then it jumps up to $10.50, then $12.95. So you got to figure out how high you want to price this. If you want to move it quickly, $8.50 is a great price point. If you're fine waiting a little bit, maybe $9.99 or $10.50. Or if you want to wait a little longer, maybe $12.90. So let's say we come in at 1290. Again, I'm not going to put a rank. I don't need to put anything for ASIN since one item appeared. And my condition on this is very good. Now, again, my descriptions are set up, you know, sturdy binding and light shelfware. That's set up for a book. If you're doing a lot of CDs, you can change this or you can simply write in here and say original artwork included. Disc appears scratch free whatever you want to say. So you can build your listing that way and then work your way down. Let's show you one more item. And just to highlight too, if you did change the pricing information or the cost, it'll carry down until you change it back again. So let's say that was back at the $1.49 price point. Remember to change that in this row as well. So one more item, I've got some uh, markers. Of course, they're already opened. I've used the green one, um, but I do have a UPC on the back. You can see that and that is scannable. So let's say this was brand new. Go ahead and scan the barcode. 
It'll pop up with an Amazon link. Again, if one item shows up, we're good to go. Now we have multiple, so I have to pick which one it is. It's actually this first one. So I'm gonna go, go over here and click on new. And then I'm gonna grab the ASIN, come back over here and drop that in to, to make sure that Amazon matches my listing appropriately. And then we're gonna go see what the prime prices are. All right, so Amazon's on it for 827. There's somebody else at 809. I'm probably gonna come in at 799. Um, and again, we're brand new. So 799 N for new. And it's just gonna say brand new in its original packaging. Of course, that's if I hadn't opened it. Um, and that's it. So up at the top, we've also got just a bit of a dashboard. We can see how many items we've listed, what the total list price is, and then what our average price. Um, for books, I try to aim for about $20. That's, that's how I know it's a good haul. If it's much lower than that, I'm hoping I paid a little less, or if it's much higher, I know that it was much more quality books. So again, all about the data, just trying to make sure you can run through it. The rest of these forms we'll get into in some other videos to show you how to upload this to Amazon. But this is the listing spreadsheet light. Again, it's available for free. You can simply download it. If you'd like to provide a tip or add a few dollars, you're more than welcome to do so. But if you just enter zero there and then put your email address in, it won't require any credit card information and you can simply download that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the pro listing spreadsheet version as well as the tracking spreadsheet to make sure you run an efficient uh, Amazon business. Thanks for watching.